Okay, I've okay, I've decided to make a movie so that setting up for the KR eight thousand PA, the settings you need to connect it to the computer using the KR P thirty two software. So we're going to discuss a little bit about the KR eight thousand PA control panel. This button right here is the print button. This button will allow you to enter into the menu selections when we get into the menu selections. This button here with the little icon above it, it looks like a list, are the menu selections. This is what we'll use to get into the menu selections. These other buttons right now are of no concern. We do not need to use these during the setup process. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn on the machine. And when you turn on the machine, you're going to come up with a main menu. This main menu needs to be set first before any of the other settings can be done. It takes a few seconds for it to boot up, so I'm going to show you that. And as soon as it boots up, we're going to go right into the menu by pressing that button with the icon that I showed you before. This one right here with the list on it. We're going to press that button and we're going to get into the setting menu. Okay. We're going to look through the setting menu by using the joystick button here. We're going to cycle through these menu selections. As you'll see, it's on step right now. Go a little closer. Straight in and stay up. Big, big there. It's on step right now. Axis step, vertex distance, contact measurement, RS-232. That's the one that we'll need to be on. When it comes from the factory, it will be set to no. And as you can see, I'm going to hit the print button right here to change it. That's the way it will be set from the factory as no. We're going to hit the print button again. And we're going to change it by using the joystick button. Let me get back there, I'm sorry. To yes. We're going to hit the print button to change it to no. Print button again to change it to yes. Okay. Then we're going to hit the joystick button and cycle through the date and time, diopters or millimeters, and exit. When we go to exit, you're going to hit the print button again to enter into that selection. You go back to the main menu. When you're done with that, you're going to turn off the unit. You're going to hold down this menu selection button again hold it down and turn on the unit. This will now take us into a new menu called the initialization menu. Okay, as you can see this menu now has initial set, we're going to use the joystick button to cycle through these selections, number set, print out, online, placidia set. Okay, so we're going to go over to, in, to initial set, there's nothing we need to do there. Number set, there's nothing we need to do there. Here on printout, we do need to do something. So we're on that now. We're going to select it by hitting the print button. As you can see, we have all these different selections. Print type, this has to be set to all to use the KRP32 software. It's already set to all. If you needed to change it, you would hit the print button. As you can see, there's average, sim, custom, all is what we need. Spherical equipment, we don't need to do anything there. CL print, we don't need to do anything there. Bar print is no. Auto print is no, data order is no, print, li print ref right left has to be on data. So make sure it's on data. If it's on RL, then you need to change it to data. Then you're going to cycle on down, you're going to hit exit, and we're going to hit the print button. Now we're going to go down to the online one. This is the most important one. So we've selected online, we're going to hit the print button to enter into that menu. CL input, you only use that if you have a, like a CL200 going into the KR. If you have that, you'll change that to yes. We don't have that in this case, so we're going to keep it at no. This next one is very important. We're going to cycle down. It's RS232C form. has to be on EXT. can't be anything else. There's a lot of menu changes there. There's at least seven or eight selections. It has to be on EXT. The next one is baud rate. Baud rate, you want to keep it 19.2. If it's been changed or comes in from the factory at 2400, you need to change it to 19.2. And the next one is RS-232C out type has to be all. If it's anything else, like refraction or keratometry, it has to be all. Cycle down to your exit button. Hit your print button to enter into that. 
Next one down is Placidia set. When you first set up this, you will have to do this. So you will enter into that by hitting the print button. You'll go down, pass nine points, pass ring to execute. If you hit execute, what will happen is, if you already have this software set up, that will be a different video. If you already have the software set up, it will come across and give you the full readings for the Placidia set. So we're going to execute that over here by hitting the print button. And as you can see, the data is going over across onto the computer screen. Once that's done, it's done, it's set. It will ask you to do that the first time you set it up. It won't ask you again after you do that. When you're done with that, hit the joystick button, go down to exit, hit the print button to enter into exit, go back down to exit, hit the print better to exit. It's going to ask you exit OK. And then as soon as I hit OK here by hitting the print button, you're going to get a printout of all the data that you just selected. It will print right out just like that. And that's all there is to setting up the KR8000PA. The next movie will be on how to use the software.